from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good Tuesday evening, Center County. I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate here with your CNET forecast. Out across the Northeast today, high pressure is firmly in control of the weather pattern, and that's resulting in scenes like this as we look out on our College Township camera towards Mount Nittany this afternoon. Plenty of blue sky, making for some very nice fall foliage showing up on the camera this afternoon. Temperature currently coming in at 63 degrees with a dew point of just 43, so it is a little bit on the dry side, but it is warmer than we were this time yesterday because of that south-southwesterly wind. Much of Pennsylvania, in fact, seeing a southerly wind thanks to that high pressure system bringing in warmer air from the mid-Atlantic and from the south. That's resulting in temperatures between about 5 and 12 degrees warmer than this time yesterday in the western two-thirds of the state. The same will be said for eastern Pennsylvania over the next couple of hours once that high pressure system has a little more time to cement itself in the eastern corners of the state. Radar and satellite is very quiet this afternoon. In fact, the only clouds that I see in Pennsylvania are up on the Northwest Plateau, loosely associated with this complex that I'm going to be watching over the next uh, 24 to maybe 36 hours that could bring some clouds overnight, maybe an isolated sprinkle during the day tomorrow. Of course, I do want to mention Major Hurricane Delta out in the southern Gulf of Mexico, a little bit ways, a little ways to the west of Jamaica. Currently sporting winds of 140 miles per hour. It's been undergoing rapid intensification over the last 24 hours. This time yesterday, it was barely a Category 1 hurricane. Now it is a major Category 4, making a beeline for the Yucatan Peninsula. Of course, they just had to deal with Tropical Storm Gamma. Now Cancun could take a direct hit from major hurricane Delta in the next 24 to 36 hours. So of course, we're gonna be keeping an eye on that. And then it'll eventually uh, make its way back into the open waters of the Gulf and head towards Louisiana as if they need another landfalling hurricane this season. Delta's remnants may impact our weather, but I'll have the details on that for you in just a second. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, some high clouds drifting across the Commonwealth as we close out Tuesday with temperatures falling through the mid-50s, bottoming out in the low 50s for most, maybe some upper 40s, especially in northern Center County. Then during the day on Wednesday, notice this slight, uh, this light band of precipitation drifting across the northern tier. We could get a sprinkle or maybe a light shower, especially in far northern Center County. I don't expect very much precipitation, if any, here in the State College area. Most of the precipitation will be confined to the northern tier before those clouds get out of the way. We will be a little bit warmer on Wednesday, but then the winds shift out of the northwest, and of course that is typically our cold temperature direction. So we'll be bringing in cooler temperatures from the northwest starting the day on Thursday, a lot colder than we have been the last couple of days in the mid-40s, and only barely warming up to the low, maybe mid-60s. Now I want to show you the European computer model for this weekend. You can see Delta over the Mississippi Delta in the far lower Tennessee Valley as it slides up the Mississippi River during the weekend. It could get picked up by a cold front that you see. Uh, you see the storm system approaching out of the uh, northern plains. If Delta gets picked up by this system, we could have a couple of days worth of rain in our seven day forecast period. And uh, we could see that rain beginning late in the day Sunday and continuing potentially as late as Tuesday night, maybe even into Wednesday morning. Tonight, though, no rain to speak of. 52 degrees for your overnight low with a wind out of the southwest around 5 miles an hour. And then during the day tomorrow, warming up a touch more than we did today to right around the 70 degree mark under a mostly sunny sky. Do be on the lookout for that isolated afternoon sprinkle, especially in northern Center County. And it is going to be a fair bit breezier with winds out of the southwest between 10 and 20 miles an hour, gusting even higher into the low and mid 30s miles per hour. The rest of your seven day forecast, we dip temperatures slightly Thursday into Friday, but then we warm back up just in time for the weekend and just in time for those clouds to build in. We will have that imp impacts from those impacts from Delta come Monday and Tuesday with temperatures knocked back into the upper 60s to right around the 70 degree mark, but that rain should be tapering off late in the afternoon on Tuesday. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate. Have a great evening.